Just after the Big Bang, when stars and galaxies were only beginning to form, a new dream began to take shape in the minds of humanity. That dream was to look back in time, to witness the origins of the universe itself, to see the birth of the first stars, the first galaxies, and possibly even the first signs of life beyond Earth. It took more than two decades of relentless innovation, collaboration, and international effort, but that dream ultimately materialized in the form of the James Webb Space Telescope. This extraordinary observatory is not just another tool in our astronomical arsenal. It represents a complete leap forward in how we explore the universe. Developed jointly by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency, the James Webb Space Telescope, or simply, Webb, was launched into space in December 2021 and positioned nearly 1.5 million kilometers from Earth at a location known as Lagrange Point 2. From this quiet vantage point in space, free from Earth's heat and light pollution, the telescope can observe the cosmos in unparalleled detail. Unlike its iconic predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which primarily observes invisible and ultraviolet light, Webb is designed to see in infrared. This allows it to detect light that has been traveling through space for billions of years. Due to the expansion of the universe, the light from the earliest stars and galaxies is stretched into the infrared part of the spectrum by the time it reaches us, a phenomenon known as redshift. By capturing this ancient light, Webb functions like a cosmic time machine, giving us a view of the universe as it existed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. And what it's seeing is nothing short of revolutionary. In one of its early deep field observations, the telescope focused on what seemed to be a tiny, dark patch of sky. But when the data came in, it revealed hundreds of ancient galaxies that had never been seen before, some dating back to just 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies weren't small or chaotic as we might expect for such a young universe. Instead, many of them were surprisingly large, structured, and well-formed. Some had already developed features like spiral arms and dense clusters, packed with stars. This was completely unexpected. According to the standard model of cosmology, galaxies should form slowly over time. The process was believed to start with clouds of hydrogen and helium gas gradually condensing under the force of gravity. Over hundreds of millions of years, these clouds would coalesce to form the first stars, which would then cluster into galaxies. The early galaxies, by this logic, should be small, disorganized, and lacking in heavy elements. But Webb's findings are throwing that assumption into question. What it's revealing are galaxies that look like they've had billions of years to evolve, even though, in cosmic time, they were born almost moments after the universe itself. Some are ten times more massive than the Milky Way, yet they appear only a few hundred million years old. Their existence challenges our understanding of how quickly matter can organize itself into complex structures. Either galaxies are forming far more rapidly than we believed, or something about our cosmological models needs to be revised. Either way, the implications are enormous. One of the most compelling aspects of Webb's discoveries lies in the composition of these early galaxies. Many contain elements heavier than hydrogen and helium, such as oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. Elements that should not have existed in large quantities so soon after the Big Bang. In the standard model, such elements are forged in the cores of stars and released during supernova explosions. For heavy elements to be present, several generations of stars would have had to live and die in a very short amount of time. The speed of this chemical evolution suggests that the first stars must have formed, lived, and exploded in record time, again defying conventional understanding. This raises a broader question. What if our entire timeline of the early universe is off? If galaxies were forming faster, and stars were dying earlier than expected, then the universe itself may have followed a more dynamic and accelerated path in its infancy. This opens the door to alternative models of cosmic evolution. Some researchers are already proposing revisions to the Lambda Cold Dark Matter model, the dominant theory describing the expansion and structure of the universe. Others are considering that dark matter may have behaved differently in the early cosmos, providing a more aggressive gravitational scaffold that allowed galaxies to form more quickly. The surprises don't end with galaxies. 
Webb is also peering into the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. Using a method called transmission spectroscopy, the telescope analyzes starlight that filters through a planet's atmosphere as it passes in front of its host star. By studying the specific wavelengths of light that are absorbed or emitted, scientists can identify the presence of molecules such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and possibly even signs of life. Already, Webb has detected water vapor in the atmospheres of several hot Jupiters, massive gas giants that orbit extremely close to their stars. In one particularly exciting case, the telescope may have observed evidence of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide, hinting at complex atmospheric chemistry that we barely understand. While these planets are far from habitable, the fact that Webb can make such detailed observations from so far away is astonishing. But the real excitement lies in what comes next. Over the coming years, Webb will target smaller, rocky exoplanets that lie within the habitable zones of their stars. These are the places where liquid water could exist, and where life, at least as we know it, might thrive. If Webb detects biosignatures such as oxygen, ozone, or methane in the right combinations, it could be the first concrete evidence that we are not alone in the universe. At the same time, Webb continues to investigate the earliest stars themselves, those born from pure hydrogen and helium in the universe's first million years. These population three stars, as they're called, have never been directly observed. But Webb's sensitivity could finally reveal their faint traces. Finding them would confirm a major chapter in our cosmic history and give insight into how the first galaxies were seeded. Perhaps most intriguingly, the telescope is also investigating the mysterious dark corners of the universe, literally. It is observing black holes, including those at the centers of very early galaxies. Some of these black holes are far more massive than expected for their age. This discovery is puzzling because, under current models, black holes grow by accreting matter and merging with other black holes, a slow process. Yet Webb has revealed that supermassive black holes already existed when the universe was still in its infancy. This has scientists scrambling for answers. Could black holes form directly from giant clouds of gas, skipping the stellar phase entirely? Or were there other, unknown mechanisms at play during the early epochs? Webb's observations might be the key to solving this mystery. As the data continues to pour in, one thing is clear. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just showing us new sights, it is reshaping our fundamental understanding of time, space, and the origins of everything we see. The universe, once thought to be a cold and quiet place at its beginning, now appears to have been surprisingly active, complex, and chaotic from the very start. Each new image, each data set, forces us to revise long-held theories and embrace the possibility that we have only scratched the surface of what's truly out there. We are witnessing a scientific revolution unfold in real time, one that stretches from the edges of the observable universe to the smallest molecules in distant atmospheres. The cosmos has never been more alive with mystery, and with the James Webb Space Telescope as our guide, humanity is poised to uncover some of the most profound secrets the universe has ever kept hidden. And so, the journey continues, not just to see further, but to understand deeper. Because in every light wave captured from across time and space, there is a clue. A clue about who we are, where we came from, and perhaps, where we are destined to go.